Here's my ladder. I'm going to go check out what the roof looks like. I haven't seen it in a while. Wow, this looks really bad. I have to sweep this and clean it. This is not going to happen at all today. And the prep isn't going to happen because the trees just like drop tons of leaves and sap and ants. I'll figure it out. So I came up and looked at my roof and it did not leak when it was just a light rain. So I was just happy about that. It was just a nice break. But I need to get that gallon of Flex Seal on here. And this is just way, it's just so dirty now and full of sap and ants and pollen and in fact, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Okay, that was kind of depressing because I went up there and there's all these leaves and dirt. And if I rolled that flex seal on with just a sweep, I, I mean, it would look like decoupage. It would look like an art project when I was done with it. Not a roof, but have all these leaves and sticks and ants in it. So I don't know. Today, well, I wasn't going to plan on doing it today anyway. Oof, it's hot. It's a little hot today. I have to get more toys. I have to entertain. It's Sunday. It's fun day. It's a fun day. So I've talked about this before. My dilemma is I love having this couch, but this couch I cannot sleep on. And when I lift it to pull, I don't like lifting it and setting it up each day. I just found this that I had. So I'm going to lay that on this cushion area because this is the original and it's just lumpy i mean like you can feel the hard wire i'm not going to sleep up there for just a multitude of reasons i just don't want to crawl up and down and um and controlling temperature and windows and airflow i don't know i just i mean i might try it but the mattress that i put up there came like eight inches and so <laughs> it was like it was just too big so I took that out and brought it back in but I'm gonna put the cushion <laughs> Teddy likes it it's perfect for Teddy who I know looks a little odd I started to cut his <laughs> hair off and it doesn't quite match the rest of his um, body which looks too big he looks like his little head but it's open Loving the open space. All this is open and this monster is still here. And I'm cleaning and sorting. Oh, look at my new, this is my new apron. It's, I love it. I love it so much. I feel so much better. I have a client that I cook for and so... I needed some more professional looking stuff in the corporate environment. So I sat down and I know what you're thinking. It, it, this little bit didn't make any difference and it did, but I did put an extra little tiny, uh, I mean, that's not very thick at all, but I put <laughs> that just a tiny little square where my butt is. I mean, cause seriously, this is my corner. And then my little rain catcher from Jana Rose usually hangs there. But it's time for me to go, but I just want to share that little project. Big project, big makeover. Big makeover for my butt. <laughs> just sit in a comfy spot. Yeah, that's your tip of the day. Foam, foam it, foam your butt. I was gonna quit making videos and now he's screaming at me that I have to make videos. He's tired. I'd like to answer some questions or address some of the comments. Uh, thank you. Oh my God, there were so many. Uh, at first, I didn't have time to read them. I just posted the video and then it was wow. Wow. Like, wow. I'm, it was great. And um, some people I think misunderstood because I wasn't clear. I just had to get that video out before dinner. Um, I have ways to make money. I have ways to create income. 
I just was preferring the nomadic lifestyle way of making income where I could make my money on the road. So I don't need any ideas on how to make money and I can't work camp and things like that. I'm not a full-fledged, normal, physical <laughs> human being. Remember the video like incapable, flawed or something? Uh, I mean, I'm capable. We all know that I'm capable. I'm smart. I, I know how to make money. I just had to supplement the loss. But I posted that YouTube video and uh, it was really motivating to read all the comments. I, I liked all the ones, you know, that I, I liked every comment I could get a hold of. Sometimes I was reading them in the middle of the night or early in the morning. But uh, what are some of the questions? Some of the things that I think people brought up that I, I wanted to answer and thank people. First of all, thank you for all your well wishes and worried about me. And, and, and I really, I think I, I was so mad and then sad. And then I kind of lost the momentum and was just got busy focusing on creating income and paying my bills. I didn't realize how many of you like really missed me or weren't actually inspired by me. I mean, some of the emails I got and the messages and even the posts and the comments on YouTube, it, it just didn't seem like I should quit this and do something else. But it felt like it was over for a few weeks for me because I just didn't couldn't figure out why it was happening for me and I didn't want to talk about that on YouTube and whine and complain go oh, you know because I always know I know it was happening for a reason and I still don't know but I mean I know it's good <laughs> it's good right and uh, but the weather's moderating and I'm in the RV a lot driving it so if anything's gonna go wrong which is good um, I prefer to drive to my clients rather than come to me, and so I do the one-on-one the -on -one consulting. Which I miss you guys. I miss doing this, and I'm going to sneak some in and uh, share with you some of the, maybe my day-to-day -day activities, just some short videos, things that I'm doing, none of these long diatribes. And